Hello everybody! Today we're going to look at a truly amazing group of vertebrates. When they're born, they usually live in water, but when they grow up and become adults, they spend most of their time on land. We present the amphibians. All amphibians have some common characteristics that you should know about so you can recognize and differentiate them. Amphibians have thin, bare skin with no hairs and scales to protect them. Most have four legs and a membrane between their toes that allows them to move much better in the water. Amphibians are oviparous but they don't incubate their eggs after laying them. They abandon them and don't care for their young. Not very good parents, huh? When they hatch, they're small larvae and live in water. Slowly, very slowly, their bodies go through a process called metamorphosis. During this process, the body of the amphibian changes. Their front and rear legs, their limbs grow and their heads and their bodies develop, so they finally look like their parents. In the early stages of their lives, amphibians breathe through gills. But when they grow up and become adults, they breathe with their lungs. The problem is, their lungs are very small and cannot get all the oxygen they need to live. But nature is very clever and has solved this problem by allowing them to breathe and get the oxygen they need through their skin. That's why they need to be near water to keep their skin wet. In the early stages of their life, some amphibians are herbivores, but when they grow up, most become carnivores. So they need to hunt. Some have a long, sticky tongue they shoot out to capture prey. Aren't amphibians fascinating and also a bit strange? So let's remember the most important characteristics. Amphibians are vertebrates. They're oviparous. In the early stages of their life, they live in water as larvae. But slowly they change until they look like their parents. This process of change is called metamorphosis. Amphibians are carnivores, so they have to hunt to eat. They have thin, smooth skin and breathe through their skin and with their lungs. Amphibians are so interesting, aren't they? Goodbye for now, everyone, and don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Hello, friends. Welcome to a new Happy Learning video. Today, we're going to meet a very jumpy and entertaining amphibian. Let us introduce you to... Frogs. Frogs have been on the earth for over a hundred and forty million years, and there are so many of different shapes and colors. There are big ones, tiny ones, green ones, red ones, poisonous ones, and even some with horns. There are more than four thousand types. Frogs are amphibians, 
and belong to the Anaurus family because they do not have a tail. They have smooth, moist skin, and their limbs are usually very long, which is why they are excellent jumpers. They can jump up to 30 times their size. Like all amphibians, frogs are oviparous. They are born in the water. Their mothers lay thousands and thousands of small eggs in ponds. Look here, you can see them. As time goes by, these eggs are transformed into tadpoles that don't look anything like their parents, right? As you can see, they have a long tail which helps them to move nimbly through the water and they breathe through the gills, just like fish. But little by little, the tadpoles undergo metamorphosis. That is to say, their bodies are constantly changing. They grow legs, they lose their tails and they get much bigger. Here you can see the phases of metamorphosis in reality. Isn't it amazing? When frogs get older, they breathe through their lungs. So they can emerge from the water, the friendly little animals that we all know. Remember, this almost magical change is called metamorphosis. By the way, frogs have a superpower. Because besides from breathing through their lungs, they can also breathe through their skin. Frogs, when they are older, become carnivorous. They eat insects, small crustaceans, spiders and small lizards. They are excellent hunters because they have an incredible vision. They can see forward, backwards and sideways all at the same time. As soon as they detect their prey, they throw their long, sticky tongue and zap! They gobble it up. Frogs are cold-blooded animals, which means that their bodies have the same temperature as the water or air around them. They can adapt to any climate, which is why there are frogs in all parts of the world. There are frogs even in deserts. But despite being incredible survivors, frogs are in danger of extinction. Yes, climate change, pollution, droughts and the constant destruction of their habitat means they are disappearing. That is why at Happy Learning we are asking you to take care of nature. Read, watch videos and learn as much as you possibly can so that all animals can live in peace. And if frogs have been on this planet for 140 million years, they can continue to jump from pond to pond for another 140 million more. Goodbye friends, see you in the next video. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.